Today's lesson is a hands-on lesson where we will use models to multiply. If I have a problem like 3 times 13, one strategy I can use is to make an array. An array is a model that has equal rows and columns. So for 3 times 13, an array would look like this. So my 3 on my 3 times 13 is how many rows we have. So there's 3. And then 13, I'm going to break apart a little bit into 10 and 3. So this is my array for 3 times 13. Now I could count all these boxes, but it's a little quicker if we can make multiplication problems out of this array. So I'm going to make two boxes. Here's my first box. That one's 10 along the top, 3 on the side. So 10 times 3. Then I have a second box that's 3 by 3. Then I can find the answer to each of these. So 10 times 3 equals 30. 3 times 3 equals 9. So in my bigger half of my box, I have 30. And the other little part, I have 9. Then I just have to add those together to get how many boxes there are in my whole array. So 30 plus 9 equals 39. So that is the product of my answer. A second strategy you can use is called an area model. It's really almost exactly the same, except you don't have to draw all the little tiny boxes. So you can just draw the two parts of the rectangle, write your 4 on the side, break apart your 23, it's 20 and 3, and then you figure out the two different sections of your big model. So this larger section is 4 by 20, so 4 times 20, and our smaller section is 3 by 4, so we can multiply 4 times 3. So first, 4 times 20 equals 80, and 4 times 3 equals 12, and then we add those two parts together to get our whole. So 80 plus 12 equals 92. I'm going to do one more example of each of these two strategies. So one more using, an, using arrays. So 5 times 14, here's my array. And luckily I can fast forward so it goes a little bit quicker because that takes a while. So I have 5. So that's my left and right side, the rows, and I have 14 columns, 10 and 4, and then I can make two boxes out of this, so I have 5 by 10, the commuted property says I can switch those, so 10 times 5, or 5 times 10, either way, which is 50, so there are 50 boxes in that, and doing 10 times 5 is a lot quicker than having to count them all. And then my second box over here, which is 4 along the top and 5 along the side. So 4 times 5, that's going to equal 20. Add my two parts together, 50 plus 20, and there are 70 boxes in my array. So 5 times 14 equals 70. One more example using the area model. 3 times 26. So here's my rectangle with the line down the end. My 3 goes on the side. My 26 I'll break apart into 20 and 6. Then I multiply the first box, which is 3 by 20. 3 times 20 equals 
60. Then my smaller part is a 3 by 6. Although in my picture they look about the same, but it's 3 by 6. And 3 times 6 equals 18. Then I just have to add the two different sections. 60 plus 18 equals 78. Now it's time for you to give it a try. I want you to use an array for this one. So use an array to solve 2 times 14. And go ahead and pause. Okay. So an array should look like this. 2 by 14. Your 2, your 14 broken apart into 10 and 4. So the first part's going to be 2 times 10 equals 20. The second part's going to be 2 times 4 equals 8. Add the 20 and 8 together, and you get 28. Okay, your second practice problem, I want you to try with an area model. So use an area model to solve 4 times 15. Go ahead and pause. Okay, so here's our area model. 4 on the side. Break apart 15 into 10 and 5 at the top. 4 times 10 equals 40. 4 times 5 equals 20. 40 plus 20 equals 60. Okay, if you've got the hang of it, move on to the problems you'll show me in class. If you're still a little confused, go ahead and go back and rewatch some of the examples again. So here are your problems. You can use an array or area model to solve the problems. You can do one of each, or you, if you have a favorite, you can use it on both. So problem number one, 3 times 13. Problem two, 4 times 22, and then you'll show those to me in class. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.